my buddy Subina and I Prenusa. In this video, Prena and me will be making clouds at home. Cloud for the sky, no. Yes, Prena, but in this experiment, we can make clouds at home. Wow, so cool. Yes, so the materials needed to make clouds at home are you need two containers, one, uh, one with some ice and the other with some hot water. Guys, while using hot water, make sure you take the guidance of your parents. Now all you have to do is to place the container with ice on it on top of the container which has hot water, like this. Now all you have to do is wait. Whoa. Whoa. Wow, so forming a cloud, a color of clouds. Yes, Tina, but if we wait for some more time, we can see it nicely. So guys, over here, I have used this ice pack because I think the ice cubes that I have are not enough. Guys, look, the cloud is forming, the cloud is forming. Do you know why this happens? No. All of us know that hot water vapor rises up. In this experiment, when the hot water vapor rises up, it touches the cold surface, which is the bottom of this container. And when it touches that, it turns into water droplets. These water droplets are really tiny that you yeah. can't even see them. They actually form mist, but to our eyes, they seem like clouds. This process is called as condensation. Easy, isn't it? It's just like the water cycle. Water vapor from the water resources rises up due to the sun's heat. This is called as evaporation. When the water vapor reaches a high altitude, it turns into water droplets or crystallizes into snow. This process is called as condensation. After it's too heavy, it falls down as rain, snow, hail, etc. This process is called as precipitation. So guys, I hope this video was really informative for you. I hope you visualized everything that I told. If you like this video, please like, like share and subscribe like, to my channel if, to keep me motivated to make more such fun videos. Till then, let's play. Explode, learn and grow together. Bye-bye.